Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys uh, what this tool could do. Today I have a Maxi TPMS. This is the version. This is the brand. This is the one that I have. Is the because they got do have different types. I have the TS five zero eight. I have the whole kit right here. I have some manuals. I'll come with a manual, and we have the cord, the connector to go into the the car, the port, the ODM, the OBD. Uh, where's the focus at? The OBD uh, port and the part that connects to your tool. All right, right here. This is to charge it up because it's rechargeable. And you have the wall charger. You the wall. You know the block going to the wall to get it charged. Now, what I want to show you guys how easy this tool basically works. I have it for like over three years now. And turn off the light. Don't really need it. This is the power button. Hold it down. Power up. Right, so it give you this menu. It give you quick mode, advanced mode, toolkit, my device, uh, review, data, and latest tests. So the most important one I always use is the advanced mode. You just scroll, these are the arrow, the scroll, and to go in, you just hit the Y button. As you say, your device has been, has not been updated for a long time. It is recommended to update in my device for latest software support, which is true. I have this like over like three years. I haven't updated. Just got to plug it in the computer, follow the steps. Uh, you have the manual and let you know how to do so. But further ado, uh, I have do have a Toyota Avalon, a 2008, and this give you all the way. Every time when you update it, it give you, it adds more to all the newer brands. If a new brand of car comes out, you have a lot. It's a lot of different vehicles. You know, it's a big world that we live in. Certain places don't even have the cars that we have, and we don't have the cars that they have. You know, so. This works for all type of vehicle, even if you never heard of the vehicle before. So, but anyways, further ado, I have a 2008 Toyota Avalon, and I'm going to go into it. I'm going to scroll and go into it uh, to show you guys. Uh, Skoda, where's the T at? Where's T? There we go. Toyota. So... You hit the Y, the Y to goes in, the Avalon is right there, hit Y again, and you give me the year 2006 to all the way to 2012, and it said Japan slash USA, I'm going to hit yes, and they have the diagnosis, uh, click on that, they tell you trigger all sensor, I never use that, that, uh, that feature though the the tpms diagnosis i never use that feature uh but program sensor uh program relearn that's the main one that i usually use and i'm gonna let you guys know why i always use program relearn all right so basically program relearn say that your tire light came on right you have this tool you could basically check you could come out of here and come out go to quick quick mode and do the same thing go to quick mode you hit Toyota Avalon uh, 2006 whichever year if it is your vehicle it let you know and you could just scan single sensor now you have four tires or five tires i have five of them because i do have a spare i have a full spare i know a lot of cars these days don't give you full spare no more but the full spare for mines have 
the sensor, which is a built-in like this. It looked like this, basically where you put where you add the air in. So, what you do, you could scan. You hit hit the hit the Y button right there. You hit scan sensor. And then you're gonna hit this middle button right here. You put you put it close to the see what I just did you just put it close to the sensor and it's gonna pop up and show you this it show you the voltage the voltage is good temperature 82 Fahrenheit so degrees and the pressure that's in the tire it said 32.6 psi so it have 32.6 uh, pounds of air inside of the tire so it let you know all the information and show you the ID number as well. So what do you do if you scan it and it pop up and show you that okay that voltage is good, that sensor is good. Once it pop up with information is good. If you check the next tire and, and you try to hold it there for a while and nothing is popping up, nothing is coming up, that means the sensor in that tire is totally dead. Now, if it's not dead and your tire light is on and you scan all of them and all the tires is good, all the tires is good with air, but your tire your tire light still is on in the vehicle and you know all of them got the air because as I show you guys, this one have like what, like 30, 32 pounds of PSI, 30, that's the PSI, that's the how much air that's in your tires. So once you check that and all your tires, all four, four or five of your tires have enough air in there, 32 or above 32, and the light is still illuminated in your car, basically your sensors need to be reprogrammed. Now, it's easy to do that program uh, procedure. Let me show you guys. I can't really show you the full thing because uh, let me go back into Toyota go back to, into advanced mode so you go to advanced mode you scroll over to advanced mode hit the Y button hit yes hit Toyota Avalon whichever car you have I'm using Toyota Avalon because that's what I have uh, you go to position position relearn scroll down so you scroll, scroll down to position relearn, you hit the Y button, and you hit OBD relearn. It's going to tell you position relearn, ODB relearn, a proper TMS tool is required, which is what you have in your hand anyways. And it's going to say set the vehicle gear to park, to P gear, and pull up the handbrake properly in install tire pressure sensor. So you hit OK. What you're going to do, you're going to scan all your tires. It's going to let you scan all your tires. You scan all your tires. Do the same thing that I did. You just put it right there. And you hit this button right there. So you hit yes. You hit the Y. You hit the Y. You hit the Y. Yeah, you hit the Y. And then you just hit this button in the middle. And as you can see, it tells you how much PSI in the tire. It's going to shift to whichever one you need to scan. Or you could skip it. You, if you don't want to do that one, you could do the one on the same side. So you could go back to this side. Scroll down. Scan that one in the back. When you finish scanning it, you press, you press this. This is what is going to make it scan. You're going to see it come up and pop up on the screen. After you finish, you do the... You do either the if you have a spear, which is a full spear, the spear have to be a full spear to have this sensor. If you don't have one, you bypass it. You just scan that one, scan that one. Once it's finished scanning, then you hit uh, this. Is it press any key to continue? So it's not going to really show me what's next because it didn't really show all of them. But well, after that, it's going to come up with a message. When it pop up with the message, I can't really say it all to you guys because I don't know it word for word. 
But when it come up with that message, you're gonna need to connect this right here. Connect this right here. This right here into this port and this right here I need the car all cars have these I think they're starting from the 90s have this port right here and you put it inside of the car then you hit like Y or something and then it will tell you what's next the procedure is gonna do it's a bit pretty easy and simple it's gonna scan the whole car whatever the ECU of the car and it's gonna start doing its job it's gonna take maybe about maybe about a good three minutes is gonna work but when it finishes it's gonna tell you to drive your vehicle for about 10 minutes the light in your car is gonna turn off as well the tire sensor light is gonna turn off as well and you're gonna be good to go you disconnect this turn it off whatever once you disconnect it you should be good to go your tire light will turn off but um this this been really working wonders for me works really good because sometimes people just hate seeing that tire light and that tire light is very important especially if you get a flat and that that light pop up or oh, i'm low on air it lets you know you know your light light is on it get you thinking that hey i'm low on air or i have a flat so it's very important to have to, to warn you but yeah it's a good tool I have it for like three years it works it do update you know you just have to connect it to a computer to get it update this is the setting update they have the setting right there hit Y tell you everything the market is America language is English you could change that as well the pressure unit PSI temperature distance unit I uh, have it at mile uh, the beep, I turn off the beep because it's annoying every time when you skip in. Yeah, so that's that's what this this tool is for. It's to basically relearn. You could scan to see which one is bad or relearn. Because if you take it to the dealer or take it to a shop and they have like a scan tool or have this tool, they're going to charge you extra. So all you could do is just buy a, your new sensors or buy you all four brand new sensors. You could get them off eBay, which is cheaper. Make sure it matches the vehicle that you have. The year, the make, and the model, make sure it match. And you search up, you search up TPMS sensor. And you just buy it, get it shipped to your house. When you're ready to change your, all your four tires, you just give them to the mechanic and tell them you want them to install all four tires and install new sensors you you will know which sensor is bad because you have this equipment you have this tool you can scan each one of your your tires to know which one of your sensor is bad but if you want to if you want to change all of them at the same time you could you could do that and you could just re reprogram it relearn them uh, all together and your issue will be fixed but I give this product right here 10 out of 10. Good product. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this video can help you guys. Uh, I don't know the price for it right now because I had it for like three years now. I can't remember how much I got it right now. I don't know how much they're going for. They probably have some new ones out. But this stuff works. It really works, guys. Um, if you any, have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. If you enjoy this video, if this helped you in any type of way, you could donate uh, to my PayPal. It's in the description. Check it out. You know, hit you, give your boy a dollar, donate a dollar, two dollar, three dollar, five dollar. It doesn't matter. Everything counts. And I, I really appreciate it, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Share this out. I do want to do a full video to show you guys how it really works, but as for right now, I have a, a tire that's on my car that's not even for my vehicle. Well, it's it's the same size and everything, but the sensor doesn't really match for my vehicle. It's from a Honda, so you can't use another sensor and think that it's going to work for your car. It's not going to work. All of them got to match. That's why I said when you go on eBay, 
you really have to type in the make and model of your car to make sure the sensor match is gonna match. Because when you scan this and when you connect it to your, your car, it's gonna pull up, it's gonna read the ID number of the sensor and it's gonna have to match your car brand. If you don't match your car brand, it's not gonna work. So make sure your TPMS sensor match the vehicle that you are driving or you have what uh, the car that you have basically but uh that's about it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review as i said this is what connect this part connect to the to the vehicle this part right here connect underneath the tool right there connect right there at the bottom of the tool you have your charger the usb port you charge it right here plug in the usb port right there and you can just plug it up to charge it and you get free updates guys so whatever vehicle you update to no matter what it could be the 2025 2026 it will give you a message that it needs to update you plug into the computer you have your manual that actually tells you how to do so it will tell you how to update how to update everything and right here it said register for current vehicle coverage a full tool functionality register and update before use uh that's what they say right here but i think the information it tells you in the manual how to actually do it in the manual so i give this product this helped me save a lot of money uh, a lot of money because going to the dealership just to let them reprogram the sensors I think that's like a hundred bucks so if you want to save some money in the long run get you this uh, maxi TPMS uh, this is the brand this is the the model the TS 508 get you this one trust me it works it works for all vehicles you download the free updates you have the manual and everything it tells you everything and that's how you know as you can see this is how it looks but good stuff thank you guys for watching uh, please like and subscribe once again if you want to support me uh, my PayPal is in the description click on that link if you want to donate, you're free to donate. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hope this video helps. Peace. Bye-bye. Take care. And God bless. You grind me, you grind me.